And good day, all of you. John Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition. Um, I guess I don't know what's going on. My camera and all that other crap I'm dealing with right now. But anyway, today from our friends at Three Taverns. Um, probably hear the heat in the background, which I'm gonna probably cut off in a little bit. Um, this is the Prince of Pilsen, Hoppy Pilsner. Three Taverns Brewery here in Decatur, Georgia. Well, based in Decatur, Georgia. It's not that far away for me. So, um, yeah, the, the weather's been kind of so-so today. It's been a little bit of up and down, up and down. In fact, let me just go ahead and just cut this AC real quick. Okay, I'm back. So, had to do that to get that out of the way. So anyway, the weather's been pretty interesting today. Not that there's been a little bit of balance of cold and hot and hot and cold. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, 5% um, ABV. Uh, according to the can, surpassed the ordinary. Prince of Pilsen pays tribute to the beer sensation first brewed in the city in the in the Bohemian city of Pilsen in 1842, now making up 90% of beer consumed around the world. This Euro style Pilsner is uniquely dry hop for crisp citrus aroma and bites. We shall see. Uh, 3.6 out of 5 on on tap. Oh boy, interesting. Hmm, interesting. Uh, gets an 88 score on Beer Advocate, so we'll call it very good. So, a lot ahead. Let me just let this thing kind of settle a little bit. Um, this is another brewery that I am needing to go visit uh, and check out here in the Georgia area since I moved up here to Georgia. Why do they have to play music? Why, why, why? I don't know. I don't want no copyright issues or ish from you guys on the tube, but anyway. Uh, first beer review I've done outside maybe in a good a week or two, maybe three. I don't know any beer reviews outside, but you know, hey, let this thing kind of settle a little bit. So, um, yeah, a lot ahead. You can see a lot of beer at the top right there. All it is is not, it's not foam, guys. It's mostly beer. So don't worry. It's pretty much what it is foam, foam, foam. Nothing more, nothing less. It's foam, but all that, the foam is beer. So, I get 5% ABV. Definitely citrus aroma on the nose right away. Very nice, very scentful. Mmm. Very ar aromatic. Mm, nice. But it doesn't kind of have that sort of that biscuitiness that most uh, Pilsners that I've had, some European, some even brewed here. So, so all right, let's have at it. Cheers. What do you mean by hoppy? I'm wondering if they're using sort of what type of hops they're using. So the kind of hops that I've been known that most of us beer drinkers are known to see in IPAs, um, in pale ales, they're the ones the type of hops that they use in adjunct lagers like Budweiser or um, Coors Banquet or uh, 
I don't know, local, you know, solid gold uh, by founders, lager type of hops. We don't know. I do know that this beer has a lot of this. Still, all that again, folks. All this right here is all beer. This foam. So maybe that should not have been a good idea to shake it, but you know. But anyway. 5% ABV. And again, if you've seen the last video I did, I think I did another Pilsner review. Um, I'm going to be blunt and let you all know. Miller Lite, I know they like to say they're a Pilsner. They're not a Pilsner beer. Yes, I'm going to say that. Miller Lite is not Pilsner. Let's cut the bull crap. It is not a Pilsner beer. Period. So they say they are, but they're not. So... A lot of foam in this. Ugh. Reminds me of that other um, the Terrapin Recreational Ale, which is still out there. That's a lot of foam on that one. If you ever get a chance to pour and let it settle, you pour into the glass, man. Yeah, this is all beer, but this too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Had not refrigerated for a while. It's good, it's clean. It definitely has a little hop presence for sure. What type of hops are using, I don't know. Is it uh, Cascade? Is it Amarillo? Not Armadillo, Amarillo. Is it Mosaic? Is it the certain hops that you use in other you know, adjunct lagers? I don't know. But definitely a really strong citrus flavor. I think a more grapefruit. And maybe some orange. A slight hint of lemon in this. But more grapefruit I'm getting in this Pilsner. Now, most Pilsners tend to have a little slight of it. But remember, this beer is unfiltered. Let me, I, let me throw that in there. I didn't mention that in the beginning. It is unfiltered, so... So other pistols are filtered. This was unfiltered. So I'm guessing you're getting everything, what's how they made it, and just kind of hey, we'll take some of the small, some of the other parts out of it, but then we're giving it to you as it is, plain and simple, no questions asked. So um, like I said, it does have a very crisp citrus. Uh, aroma and definitely taste on the tongue. Grapefruit, slight orange, slight lemon, but more grapefruit than anything. So, um, this is another brewery that I have not visited yet that I need to visit in Decatur. Uh, excuse me, Decatur's only like what 20 plus minutes away from me, 15 minutes. Uh, wherever they're located in Decatur, but I do. Downtown Decatur is a really nice little spot. A lot of nice restaurants. Um, like I said, I have, I have not been disappointed by anything I've, I've had since I moved up here about now. It will be two years come June since I moved up here. Um, and I haven't been disappointed by anything. I mean nothing from the folks at... Um, at um, and any of the breweries here in Georgia. So I'm looking to um, maybe not this check this place out in a few other spots. I've already been to seven breweries since I've been up here. Uh, I'm not going to count uh, Sweetwater or um, well, well Sweetwater is the one I've been to. Uh, Terrapin I have not been to yet. Uh, Terrapin and Sweetwater both to me are corporate. Big boys, <laughs> breweries now, uh, you know, part of the conglomerate, but some of the other ones I've been to, Slow Pour, uh, Social Fox, um, Tucker, Wild Haven, Wild Heaven, Wild Haven, okay, Monday Night Brewing, 
you know, the folks from the Blind Pirate and whatnot. Um, yeah, those are the ones I pretty much have been to right now. And I think a couple of more, but the kind of right now memory is like, do 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 do, gone. So, um, again, I'm not getting that sort of ready biscuit taste to this beer which most prisons that I've had does have this maybe they were filtered out but this was not filtered so as you can see there's still more beer left and that's just a lot in my opinion but uh, at five percent this is very refreshing um, I do enjoy Pilsner's I do enjoy adjunct lagers, and um, as the weather gets warmer, and hopefully it will be soon, as we're saying goodbye to the month of February, um, we'll be checking more stuff out. But overall, this is okay. I say great, but okay. I'm not going to go 88 score that beer advocate go. I will say maybe because it doesn't have the breadiness to it, maybe that's the reason why. Uh, so maybe it's a bit too hoppy. Slight hoppy for me, so I will go 8.4, so that's a B. It's good, not negative, folks, so don't relax, don't get me upset. So, Prince of Pilsen by Three Taverns Brewer, Craft Brewery, Base Indicator, I will go B score, 8.3, excuse me, 8.4, I'll go that, 8.4, so good score. Check it out, nice Pilsner, try it, you may like it. John and the Spirit of the Beverage Ramble. Thank you for watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Pilsner, Pilsner, Pilsner. Yeah, 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 yeah.